What you just saw was a science experiment that went astray. What I thought was going to happen didn't happen. But along the way, I found something much more fascinating and beautiful. Let me show you what's going on here, and then we'll go back to some more of that video. Hi, my name is Tim, and I consider myself an amateur scientist. I love science. I do lots of home projects and small science experiments but most of them don't work out. But I always learn something from those experiments. It takes a lot of trial and effort to try to get an experiment to work. And sometimes when you're lucky, you'll see something much more interesting happen, something you didn't expect. And that's what happened here. You see, I was trying to illuminate particles of dirt and dust floating in the atmosphere. I was thinking of making like a piece of public art where people could look out in the street and see dirt and dust floating in the atmosphere would think, oh gee, there's a lot of pollution today. Maybe we should do something about it. Well, while I could see dirt and dust floating in the air, it really wasn't that interesting. But let me show you what I did and what I found. So I tried a lot of different bright light sources. And what I ended up finding was that a laser pointer, a high powered laser pointer like this, was an ideal light source. Now the laser is a, is a tight beam of very intense light. What I needed was a way to spread out that light to try to illuminate like a cloud or volume of space of air. And so what I did was I tried different types of lenses. Now, you know, lenses are a clear or transparent material that bend or concentrate light in some way. I ended up using a cylindrical lens. And this is a type of lens that actually will spread out the light, the laser beam, into a sheet of light. I glued that onto the front of the laser pointer. And what the idea is, is that I would be able to attach the laser pointer here with rubber bands. And then I'd be able to use some type of smoke or particle source, like this cone incense. And then I could place it here and I would be able to see the whiffs of smoke drifting in the laser beam. Before we go outside, let me talk to you for a moment about safety. These lasers are extremely powerful and they can cause immediate and instantaneous eye damage. So you're absolutely gonna need a pair of high quality laser safety goggles. But for me, I always take additional precautions. I figured you can never be too safe and that uh, these experiments, you never know what might happen. So let me get ready and then we'll go outside. Now here we are outside in a safe place to set up the laser and you'll notice it's snowing which should be really interesting. Now here we are with the light sheet vertical and you can see the snowflakes passing through the beam. Now one thing I really loved about this project was that the couple snowstorms I saw all had different sized snowflakes and the proportion of snowflake sizes were all different. Like here's a different snowstorm. And that brings up a point about me wanting to see the pollution in the air. Actually, the particles of dust and dirt were way too small to see individually. So the snowflakes make a really great target. And besides, it made really beautiful art. Remember the incense. Now you can see it here. Now the smoke plume from the incense was not very visible in normal daylight. But here you can see a cross section of the smoke plume. And you can see how the laser really highlights the different density and of the particles in the smoke plume. Now, one thing I can do with the laser is I can rotate it to take a horizontal cross section of that plume. And actually I'm gonna move the camera to above the smoke plume. And you can see I get much more of a boiling kind of action. You can see it's just actually really, really beautiful. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was add another laser. So here's two laser beams 
without the cylindrical lens. And I'm going to experiment with those a little bit. I'm going to put the cylindrical lens on and then try the intersection of two laser beams. Here you can see the, gr the green is vertical. And here's with a red laser. Boy, I really loved playing with this outside. Now, the other thing I did was saw the snow, another snowstorm with the three lasers parallel. Now, this brings up a point that I'm having problems with my old lithium ion batteries. So I'm going to order some new batteries and we're going to come back and do some more with this project. So please join me later. And thank you.